live. Hello, it is Topical Tuesday, April 14th, 2020. Steve Cypress here at the United States Post Office. Ventured out of the house for the first time since this ridiculous lockdown, draconian, authoritarian government usurping of the citizens' rights started. Had a few things to mail string sizes and all so i decided i could have could have just plugged down a few extra stamps on each piece of course and dropped it in the box but i said you know i've not left the house for weeks let's at least head out for a few miles away and see what a ghost town it is and uh at least i have good news to report on one end it's not a complete ghost town uh however it's even more absurd and stupid and ridiculous when I'm out here in a completely destroyed economy. It's gonna take a long time to recover. Everything is a disaster. Not everything, of course, not if you sell toilet paper. But uh, man, are people catching on to the just outright overblown hype of this whole thing? I mean, as I'm heading into the post office, I'm wondering, do I have to wear a mask? Are people gonna like, you know, shame me, but nobody was wearing a mask, don't be ridiculous. Like, as if I'm a carrier of a disease. I'm, I'm not your, your friendly neighbor anymore. I'm your potential killer. That's how we're supposed to look at everybody. That's what they have us convinced, to look at everybody. As if they're our potential murderer. That they're carrying some strange, unforeseen, deadly disease that will kill everybody, even though, of course, 0.0000 whatever percent of people even have the thing or they have it, they even show symptoms. Sure, a few people die from it, but a few people die from everything. You know, I'm I'm amazed. I see on social media people that I know that, that like to go skydiving and, and all kinds of stuff like that are afraid to go out of the house because there's a virus. So I'm like, really? Like, you, like, no risk, no reward, dude. Like, you jump out of a plane. Now you won't walk down the street? Like, okay, so somebody might have the flu or some other communicable thing that's going around. It's always something. It's not a once in a lifetime, never before seen, incredibly hard to manage thing that you have to destroy lives and businesses and shut down the whole economy, destroy people's quality of life. Can't go to a game, can't go to a restaurant. On and on, can't go to work. For most people, I mean, I'm working from home. My internet is incredibly slow, by the way. It's the other thing, I took the opportunity. I said I won't even be able to record a, a daily video today at home with the internet being so slow. And as I talk to clients during the day and our calls go off and on and I have one bar on the cell phone and the, the zoom calls keep cutting out i'm like is that because you know we're on the cell tower i don't have a dedicated server in my house i'm not hillary clinton and so you know everyone's home all the kids are on all their devices and everyone's watching netflix all day or whatever they're doing like what just absurd ridiculous I wonder how long it'll take people to realize how stupid and ridiculous this was. But anyway, that's my feelings. However, if you're an employee, you're feeling pretty uh, pretty uh, uh, nervous these days, probably. Is your job gonna still be there? You have to switch jobs? Is the company gonna go out of business? You know, what are you gonna do? Uh, but if you own a business, my goodness, there's all kinds of things you can do to not just survive, but to take advantage of the opportunity that this brings. This is gonna kill businesses which means there'll be a few less of your type of business to compete with. That's more money for you when this lockdown, shutdown, depression, recession ends. Uh, and even during it, there's all kinds of things you can do. I post a new case study, a new example of a way a sharp, forward-thinking, opportunity-minded entrepreneur or business owner is taking advantage of all the chaos that's out there right now in my new private Facebook group, ProfitFromChaos.com. Hey, Rich. And uh, to get an invitation there, you just go to ProfitFromChaos.com. It's, uh, I take it back. I got thrown saying hello to my friend Rich 
the Facebook group is not called Profit from Chaos.com. It's called Profit from Chaos. But it's a private group. You can only get an invite by getting my free report, How to Profit from Chaos, at ProfitFromChaos.com. And did I mention the report is free? I'll tell you why. This is a great opportunity right now. Several exact ways to take advantage of it. And then some examples of all kinds of different ways you can get paid, even if you think your business is closed down right now. So go to ProfitFromChaos.com and start to get on the right side of this ridiculous stupidity that's going on. And that'll do it for Topical Tuesday. As I physically, socially distance from everybody because I think they're going to kill me. They think I'm going to kill them. How absurd. We have been now brainwashed to hate our neighbors, fear our neighbors. I see things on TV like, oh, it was a kid's birthday. People, all the neighbors lined up, all separated 50 feet apart in front of their homes. Like, oh, what am I now? I'm supposed to be deathly afraid of my neighbors. They're no longer my neighbors that I love and care about. Now, ooh, I won't go near them because maybe they'll kill me. Like, really? That's America 2020. Catch you tomorrow on World Wide Web Wednesday over and out. Bye-bye.